What's up guys, this is take number two of the second part of my PBX project revisited. Let's get started. If you're a follower of mine on Twitter, and you should be, uh, you'll know that I was having some difficulty uh, taking some video with the uh, new equipment here. Uh, I uh, spent some time last night taking a whole bunch of video and it was expecting to get uh, something out for you guys to take a look at. But when I got uh, up to my computer and started looking at the video on my PC, uh, it was just horrendous. It was really, really, really bad. And I didn't want to put something like that out for you guys. So um, I'm readjusting a little bit and I'm hoping that this looks better. I spent a good portion of today just sort of playing around with the different uh, settings on this camera. Anyways, back to uh, the project here. So as you can see, right now we're looking at the home server rack in my basement. And I did manage to get the PC uh, at least connected anyways. And it's sort of in a temporary location. You can see it up top, uh, like here. My, I know my hand is blurry, uh, but you can see it right there. Uh, sitting on a shelf, and on top of it is an old KVM switch. The red server on the bottom is the old Pentium 4 that I was going to use. And if you saw my last video, you know that I switched gears a little bit. So uh, I've got the PC in place. It's uh, turned on and hooked up. And uh, what I'm going to do uh, in the rest of this video is sort of go over some of the additional hardware that I'm going to be using to make this project complete. So let's go over to the workbench. All right, I move upstairs because uh, there's nobody else in the house besides my wife and me. Um, normally it's a little bit loud, so I don't uh, normally make videos up here. I just stay in my basement. But I wanted to take advantage of the natural light, so let's get going. I'll show you what we have up here. Over here on the left is a Linksys PAP2TNA. That's actually going to let me use the uh, regular telephone, uh, wireless telephones that I have in my kitchen. So I'll plug those into that and then plug this guy into my network. And then that's how my PBX server is going to be able to talk to that phone. Uh, so that'll be neat. Over here on the right is a uh, Nortel IP telephone, model 1535. This is going to be replacing the phone that's on my desk uh, in my office. And I already have network lines up there, so that's not going to be a problem to get that hooked up. Uh, but I will have to run a network line from my basement up to my kitchen. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Uh, those two devices are sitting on my Dell Precision laptop, and I I uh, use that now mainly as my workbench computer, so anytime I need to go online and get some more information about stuff, that's the laptop that I'm using. And the reason why I bring that up is because I get a lot of questions about uh, specific PBX um, you know, problems or settings or whatever, and 9 times out of 10 I tell you guys to go to nerdvittles.com. That's the website that I uh, stumbled upon, and that's the website where I got all the information that I needed for uh, my project. Uh, I'll leave a description, or in the description, I'll leave the link to that site. It's an excellent place to go. You'll definitely get uh, answers to your questions. The forums are really, uh, really good, and uh, just, uh, just a wealth of information there for you guys to go check out. So if you're doing a PBX project or thinking about doing it, go there first. Uh, it's a, a good place to be. That's going to do it today for this video. Uh, I apologize for not having something up uh, last night, but all of the video that I took was just really, really bad, and uh, <laughs> I, I did not want to put that out there. Uh, anyways, definitely like and subscribe because that helped me out a ton. Check out the description below for links to Twitter and Google+. You'll get updates on when my new videos are posted if you follow me there, uh, and you should. And uh, I guess uh, also uh, the description is going to have links to the two videos that I uh, have on my channel for the Linksys box and the Nortel telephones. I've got unboxings and overviews for those guys. And I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. If you want to do a PBX project, I would start there. It's an excellent, excellent place to be. Uh, let's see. I think...